Hello and welcome back to the series of videos on database for IGCSE ICT. In this video we are going to work with queries in a more detailed way. Last video, and you can find it in the description, we create a report for a client that wants to buy cars in our garage, right? And these actually help you to solve questions in the past paper, past paper two, of this kind. However, sometimes the client are, have more requests. And in order to fulfill uh, and create a report that follow this request, um, we need to create different criteria. So let's perform the different tasks that will allow us to uh, have experience for any type of request that a client have. And we are going to be performing this in Microsoft Access. Remember that this is assuming that we already have the file and I'm sharing it with you in the description and you have import your table to Access, Microsoft Access. As well as creating the query, we're going to go to the process of creating the query together and from there we are going to work with each of these requests. Let's say that the client, instead of a one in a car that is from four only, it one from other brands, but it want a specific price range, or it want a car that have a specific extra accessories. So let's go and create our query from the table cars. We're going to go to create and query wizard. It's a simple query and we're going to select the fields. Remember, in this case, we are going to select all the fields, but ID and a purchase price, which is the price that we pay for the, for the car. We don't want the client to see this. And purchase price, okay? And we are going to um, see the modify the query so we click on the detail how are we going to call this well cars query um for client version two because we have already already another that is version one we want to modify the design and click finish now as you can see if you click run first save and then click run you will see that these are the different fields that you are including in your report. If the, is, if the car need cleaning or not, the price, uh, which is the selling price, and the maker, model, and color, right? So let's go back to the design view. And now that we have our query created with the fields that we are interested in, we can proceed to the different tasks that are that sample of the request from, from the client. For example, the first one say, the manager would like to see all the, all the details of all of the cars made by four and that need balloting. So remember, and you can see that from your cars table, four is on the column made and balloting is a Boolean variable that is only yes or not. Right, you can com uh, confirm that from the design view of the table. Okay, let's go back to our query. So if I want to see the cars that are made by four and need balloting, I need to include those two criteria. So here, for example, make, I write four and balloting, I will write yes. Let's first run and confirm that we only see the cars made by four. So here we are going to uh, save and run. Only the cars made by four are here present. As you can see, only one of these cars need balloting, right? So when we add our other criteria, sorry, here, yes, it will only appear one car. and we save and run now only one car this will be the only car that will appear in the report if we generate now a report 
as we did in the last video, for the manager. Cool. But, okay, this was creating a N condition uh, in the query. Now, let's see when they ask us to show cars that are not only made by Ford, but also by another brand. In this case, we are creating an or condition in the query. So let's go back here. Now we are not interested only in the cars that need balance. So we can leave that clear. And here, instead of only having four, we are going to have four and the other brand. Let's see, uh, both whole. So now here, I just write or Let's confirm. Oh, oh, okay. And when we save and run, we will see that there is no car. Why? Well, that was because our OR condition was incorrect. So we have for OR um, bus hole. And it was because of the quotation. The, the or is not included in the quotation. So we run and now we see that these two brands are present. This is how we include these or the other criteria. Because you cannot have a car made by two brands. At least that is a collaboration, right? Okay. Next is the negation. A car that is no made by four. So now, hopefully, you know what we are going to do. And it's just basically instead of having an or or four, we are going to write no four. And as you can see, the ones that are logical are not included in the quotation the or, the and. Or the not here. If we save and run again, now we can see the list of cards that are no made by four. Cool. That will, and you can see that that's pretty fast. We already have cover three, and or, and not. Now, let's see if the clients request all the cards that have a specific. And a, and a specific uh, accessory, right? Alloy wheels in this case. Let's check on our cars, and you can see that alloy wheel here in the table is present in multiple cars. And sometimes it's not the only extra that the car has, right? So how can we add this condition that is no, and now we don't need to focus on only one brand, that, that is no, at the beginning or at the end, but can be anywhere in the in this field. So, for example, if we write alloy wheel, right, and we can confirm that that this is our the correct writing. Okay. So, if we write this, and we hit, and we hit enter, we will see when we run that it only show you two cars but we saw before that there are more than two cars right so that happened because when you write this you are not specifying that you want to see the cars that doesn't have this extra at the beginning so if you want to find it anywhere anywhere here can be at the beginning can be at the end can be like with something after or with something before, you need to include this. And we're gonna see the, you need to include this symbol. And let me make it here, higher, bigger. You need to include the star in order to say that you want not only to start with it, but also ending with it or not only to have something before or after this name, 
So if we save and run here, we will see that now we have all of the different cards that have this extra alone or with other extras as well. And this will complete this task. This is for strings, aka for tests. We need to uh, be able to understand what will happen, for example, if we only have the star at the end. If we have that, it will show you tests that have this uh, string, this test, and something else after. If you only have it at the beginning, it will show you cards that have this extra with other extras before that in the writing, as you can see here, and also the cards that only have those extra. But if you want to see both, again, start before and after. Cool. That will be it. Finally, we want to include also the here we have a condition on pricing. We want the sale for be less than or equal to 4,125. So now it's all self-explanatory. Here in self-price, we're going to write the formula or the condition here for less or equal to 4,125. If we run this, we will see that this car's price is less or equal to that to that value that they are requesting. Again, after this, and depending on the question paper, you will be requested to present the data with a tabular report. If you want to check on how to create a tabular report, see the video in the description.